Heroin, Scott of the Scott Man, and we're here to do something we haven't done in quite a while. We're going off the beaten path here in Michigan, checking out a couple of towns that you probably have not heard of. We're heading along M60 today to check out two different towns southwest of Jackson, Michigan, Concord and Homer. We are here in Concord, Michigan. It's a nice small town here. Let's go, let's go check things out. This beautiful village was settled back in 1831 along the banks of the north branch of the Kalamazoo River. As a matter of fact, Concord is about 10 to 15 miles to the southwest of Jackson. While we're here in Concord, we're going to be checking out a couple of historic sites, some neat parks, and then even get some lunch while we're here. Across the street from the First Presbyterian Church, we have the First Universalist Church. This is a Gothic Revival Church. It was built back in 1866. What a beautiful church this is. And next to the First Presbyterian Church, we have the Man House. This beautiful Victorian house was built back between 1883 and 1884. And what's really cool too is that they even offer free tours, although because of the virus outbreak, it's currently closed, but it'd be cool to go inside there once it does reopen. And just a little bit to the east, that is the Paddock Hubbard House. This was built like in the 1840s. Uh, this is the house for Alfred and Ruth Paddock. They came here to Concord Township and about a couple years after Oh, about a couple years after they got here, they built this house in the Greek Revival style. And a little fun fact about Alfred Paddock is that he even owned and operated one of the first flour mills here in Concord. All right, it's time to get back in the car and let's go check out some parks here in Concord. Welcome to the Falling Waters Trail. This is a 10 and a half mile long trail which connects the town of Concord all the way to Jackson, Michigan. As you can tell, you got a bunch of people parked over here so, so they can go for a bike ride on this beautiful trail. Whether you're looking to get some exercise or if you just want to get out of the city and enjoy the fresh air, the Falling Waters Trail is an absolute delight. Really enjoying this little walk I'm doing right now. I'm not going to go far on the trail, but it's nice to get out and get a little bit of exercise. So I need to work on my appetite because we're going to go get some lunch right after this. There is a local restaurant here in Concord I really want to check out. They're supposed to have some really good barbecue, so I think we'll do just that. We're here at Jack's Barbecues, located just outside downtown Concord along M60. So I'm gonna go get some lunch. All right, here inside and pick up an appetite. So I get some pulled pork, some baked beans, of course the Scott Man classic, the coleslaw, Texas toast. I'm gonna have some of the Scott Man special, or, or the Scott Man classic on here. Mm. some barbecue. It's awesome. This is good. Mm. 
haven't had barbecue in a while, but this is fantastic. If you're in Concord or driving along M60, make sure, make sure to stop here at Jack's Barbecue. Awesome stuff. Yeah, that was absolutely delicious. Definitely worked up that appetite. So now I got a lot more energy to go check out a little bit more of Concord and then head west on M60. All right, we are back in the car again, back in Concord, just to the west. That is Gottschalk Park. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. That is a big park here in Concord and got a lot of things going on right now. Like, looks like some baseball, Probably a lot going on. Oh yeah, multiple fields are being used. All right, there, there's one more park I'll check out here in Concord. So we'll do that now and hopefully it'll be a lot quieter than Gottschalk Park. All right, we made it to our last stop here in Concord. This is Swains Lake County Park. This is a county park that's about a couple miles south of downtown Concord and there are a lot of people camping over there right now. <laughs> but there's also a day use area too, so I'm just gonna go check it out really quick and then we're gonna get on that back on M60. But let's go let's go explore really quick. Ah, this feels great. Just love the breeze around the lake. Yep, that is Swain's Lake. Very peaceful lake. Not even seeing too many, uh, or not seeing too many boats out there right now. But yeah, here at this county park, you got a little play area. And there's also a beach here over to the right as well, to where you can go for a nice swim, especially on a hot summer day like today. All right, I could spend the entire day here with the nice breeze, but I have to get going. So let's get back on M60 and head west. All right, we are back on M60. I figure I'd go ahead and film a little driving segment just for about a couple minutes. So we're leaving Concord now and we're heading to Homer. That is gonna be the second town I'll be covering in this video. And we have about eight miles to go. Because it's only about like eight or nine miles apart. But yeah, yeah, this is a hot day out right now. It's my car thermometer is being 87 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's like around 31 degrees Celsius. Nice day though, not not very humid too, so it's a nice summer day here. But yeah, the reason why I wanted to do this video today is because there is a lot of unique things about Michigan, as well as other states too, where you have to go off the beaten path a little bit. Because there are a lot of exciting and beautiful towns that are, again, off the beaten path, but should be checked out. Because you, you you may find some some of the best restaurants you can discover, or even some amazing parks and just some just some overall beautiful historic buildings too. Yeah, I really enjoyed walking around Concord. Nice, it's a nice small town. You pretty much got to see everything in just a matter of minutes. But but yeah, it's like. Yeah, I really enjoy filming videos like these like as much as I like to film some of the more popular spots around Michigan or any places I like I go to either in the United States and Canada or the rest of the world but you have to you have to go in some of the more lessly traveled areas like M60 so it's like yeah you get to see more of the Michigan countryside like this a lot of beautiful farmland Yep, this is Southern Michigan. Wood, lots of wooded areas, farmland, rolling hills. You just gotta love it. All right, off to Homer. And 
we made to Homer, Michigan. This beautiful village was founded close to the same time as Concord in the early 1830s. Back in 1832, a man from Lyons, New York, Milton Barney, made a settlement here along the shores of the Kalamazoo River. And a year later, he brought his family here as they built a log house, a store, and a sawmill. And then this area was originally called Barneyville, but they decided to rename it to Homer in 1834 because the people wanted to have a little bit of sense of home from where they came from in Homer, New York. Over there, that is the oldest public building in Homer. That is the original firehouse. It was built in 1876. It used to host not only a fire station, but also a jail and public offices. And as you can tell, right next to it is the new fire station. Just outside downtown Homer at Grist Park. This is located right along the Kalamazoo River. You can either walk here from downtown or you can get on the M60 and there's a parking lot over there and, and you can park your car and just walk over here. Let's go explore this area. This is such an amazing park. I'm so glad I found Homer on the map. But when it comes to finding out different cool, unique towns like Homer or Concord, you can not only look at a map, but also if you're driving on some country roads like M60, you might just make a new discovery that will bring you memories for a lifetime. All right, so I'm gonna walk back into town and go back to where I'm parked and I am going to Check out one more part before we conclude the video. All right, we've made it to our last stop here in Homer. This is Lakefront Park. It's a beautiful park located just west of downtown Homer. It is located right along Homer Lake. Well, where's the lake? Well, it's not far. We just have to go back the opposite direction. There's the lake. We just had to turn around. And here is Homer Lake. This is so peaceful. On a hot summer day like today, there's nothing like feeling the breeze here, doing some fishing, taking the fresh air. This is just so peaceful. This is why, I, I, I keep saying this in the video, but this is why you gotta check out places off the beaten path. You might just make some cool discoveries like this one. M60 is one of numerous Michigan State highways where you can really go off the beaten path and check out some cool and exciting towns you may never have heard of, especially here in Michigan. So M60 starts off over in the Jackson area and it heads southwest over toward Three Rivers. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video here in both Concord and Homer, Michigan. Two towns, you again, you may never have heard of before, especially if you're not from the area. And while you're visiting Michigan, or if you live in Michigan, I encourage you to go off the beaten path and explore some amazing small towns in Michigan. I, I need to do this more often. Yes, I had such a great time today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the adventure. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott or the Scott Man signing off from M60 in Homer, Michigan.